Hey guys, uh, this is Nirmal here for Technique and today we'll have the detailed review of the camera on the Micromax Canvas Hue. So Canvas Hue is the latest uh, mid-range smartphone from Micromax which sports an 8 megapixel rear camera with LED flash and a 2 megapixel front facing camera. So similar to other devices like the Moto G and uh, also the ASUS Zenfone 5, uh, the phone sports an 8 megapixel camera. So let's have a detailed look at the camera interface, the features of it and how the camera performs with respect to the competition. So this is the camera interface of the Micromax Canvas Hue and as you can see there is a lot of change with respect to the interface when you compare with other budget smartphones from Micromax. We recently reviewed the A99 and also the Micromax Canvas A1 so there is a lot of change here so you can see here the new interface has uh, uh, on the top you have the option to switch to front facing camera there is a flash option and also hdr capture so these are the three options at the top and uh, at the bottom you have the settings menu so let's click the settings and you can see here a lot of uh, options included so let's go first to the video mode so you have the image stabilization uh, there is microphone options audio mode time lapse interval and you can record videos in 1080p so you can select uh, fine high medium so fine is uh, 1080p recording so you can select 1080p recording here then going on to the video uh, photo capture so you can see there is uh, zero shutter lag option and then there is voice capture you can use voice commands to capture or uh, there is face detection which is uh, turned on by default there is again self timer continuous shots you can select up to 40 shots or you can uh, go up to 99 shots so these are default options uh, you can see on most of the micromax camera smartphones and then you have the picture size uh, it can select from 8 megapixel that's the highest possible it goes up to qvga vga 1 megapixel etc uh, then you have the preview size you can have a standard size that's 4 is to 3 aspect ratio or you can go to full screen so that will be uh, the viewfinder will be full screen so that's the option now we have iso it can go from 100 it can go up to uh, 1600 so that's the iso option uh, you can have shutter sound and uh, grid lines on so these are the photo options and you can have a uh, general options like the gps location you can have uh, gps uh, included in all your photos you have the exposure uh, select the exposure there are few color color options uh, that is color effects you can see uh, sepia negative um, you have uh, uh, aqua uh, then you have blackboard and whiteboard so a couple of handy options available there then the scene modes uh, here you have lots of options there is night sunset party portrait landscape uh, beach snow steady photo fireworks uh, candlelight so a couple of uh, good options available there as well uh, then uh, you have the white balance so the normal set of options daylight uh, fluorescent cloudy uh, other other options included there uh, then uh, image properties you can set the default image properties available for any photo that's uh, uh, all our default set as medium uh, which includes contrast brightness saturation sharpness uh, and other levels so that's the option then uh, you have anti flicker options and you can options to restore the default settings so these are the options available on the right side you can see there is an option to view the gallery and the redesigned uh, uh, capture for video and the photo the first one is video capture and the second is the photo capture so if you click at the bottom you can see the modes available so the modes include normal mode uh, you have um, let's just uh, see the live photo mode that's the live photo mode then uh, let's go to the next one uh, then the face um, beauty mode that that will beautify your face when you take the capture uh, then next up uh, we have uh, the smile uh, shot that's auto capture when a smile is detected so in case you are uh, taking uh, photo, photos of people uh, you can enable this that's when smile is detected photo will be taken and finally we have the panorama so you can take panoramic capture using uh, this mode so that's the modes available uh, uh, in the phone and uh, it looks pretty decent uh, in the face uh, good set of options and uh, almost everything comes um, here so uh, there is HDR there is uh, panorama then there is a uh, normal set of options and uh, it also has the live photo mode and uh, other modes like uh, uh, beauty capture and uh, face detection so these are the, some good options available in the photo camera now let's go straight to the daylight shots so here are the daylight shots uh, taken with this uh, photo you can see from the daylight captures uh, the, the 
the clarity is pretty good there is pretty good amount of detailing with the 8 megapixel shooter and you can see there isn't much of noise in the photos and the clarity is overall clarity is pretty good but uh, the problem is with the colors they don't really look vibrant even with the uh, the AMOLED display it doesn't look really vibrant and if you take the photos uh, in daylight mode the although the colors are uh, does look a bit washed out uh, when compared to the competition the ASUS Zenfone 5 and the Moto G does produce uh, better uh, colors in terms of uh, the photo clarity because these three phones have the 8 megapixel rear camera with LED flash so uh, here the colors doesn't look really great but overall uh, we would say that it's not a bad camera it's pretty decent camera but may not be the competition now uh, again on the uh, other two phones in this uh, in this uh, price category are the U Eureka and uh, the Redmi Note both have the 13 megapixel camera and they perform better because uh, uh, it's it's obvious that the 13 megapixel camera might be able to capture better details and also better colors so overall in daylight capture the Micromax Canvas Hue is able to produce pretty decent shots but the color quality is not that impressive when compared to the comp so we also included some macro shots from taken in daylight and and they come pretty good the focusing uh, is pretty good uh, it's pretty fast there is no issue unlike uh, we faced in the Moto G where the focusing was a big problem so we also included some macro shots taken with the phone uh, in the daylight and they come pretty decent as well and uh, the clarity and uh, the sharpness levels are pretty decent uh, for the micro max canvas view now let's go straight uh, to the uh, the low light shots and also the photos taken with flash so as you can see from the low light images the capture aren't that great they're not properly lit and um, there is a lot of noise included in that uh, the low light shots as well uh, so it's not a, it's not an ideal camera uh, to, to shoot uh, photos uh, in the low light but with the well lit conditions it was pretty uh, pretty able to capture pretty pretty good amount of detailing again there is noise and if you take the uh, the photos in flash uh, it has come pretty good uh, so flash is uh, much better than what you saw on uh, the redmi note and the flash performance is again pretty good so with flash the photos have come pretty decent and there is a pretty good color reproduction as well uh, with the flash so overall in the low light uh, category this phone isn't that good we would suggest the ASUS Zenfone 5 in terms of the overall quality in low light photos and also with flash so that was the photo samples taken in daylight and as well as uh, with low light uh, with the Micromax canvas view. So now the phone rec uh, supports recording in uh, 1080p. So let's see uh, the phone sample taken in 1080p. Again, I can see here the uh, the sample uh, does look pretty decent. There is pretty good clarity as well. But again, the colors look a bit washed out here. As there is no the colors doesn't look really vibrant uh, with the recording. So when you compare with the ASUS Zenfone uh, 5, again uh, the camera lacks uh, that detailing. But uh, the the better thing is that it does record of uh, 1080p videos. But the Moto G only supports uh, 720p, even though the hardware supports 1080p recording. But again, um, uh, the video recording is pretty decent uh, for the phone in this price range. But it may not beat the competition. That's where the Micromax Canvas U fails. So uh, overall, if you're looking for a decent uh, um, camera in the 10K range, there are pretty good options. Uh, we would, uh, if you're looking for camera performance, we would suggest the ASUS Zenfone 5 uh, in terms of the overall performance. So that was the camera review of the Micromax Canvas Hue. So when comparing with the competition like the ASUS Zenfone 5 and also the Moto G, there are lots of things where the uh, the camera fails. One is the amount of features which is available in the ASUS Zenfone 5. There are lots of modes and uh, features included which is missing on the Micromax Canvas Hue. Moreover, uh, the photos, uh, the color in the photos are not that great and the low light performance is not up to the mark of ASUS Zenfone 5. So that was a detailed review of the camera on the Micromax Canvas Hue. Hope you like this video. If you have any specific questions on this video, just drop a comment and we'll be glad to help you out with your queries. If you like this video, do hit the like button and also subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. And thanks for watching this video.